Hello and welcome to www.thepopparade.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. It's been exactly one week since Sri Lanka won the silver medal at the South Asian Basketball Championships held at Bengaluru, India. And we have with us today Mr. Pandukarana Singha, the head coach of the Sri Lankan national team. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the tournament. Where did Sri Lanka go wrong? What did Sri Lanka did right? And what are the life lessons that we can get to make the life of the Sri Lankan basketers more easy? Uh, Mr. Pandukarana Singha, welcome aboard on the popper.com. Uh, moving on, just uh, we, we maintained an unbeaten streak until we face the final match against India. Uh, what were the pros of the team? How did we perform until that? What, what are your thoughts? Actually, we started our campaign with uh, Bhutan. Uh, they were like low-ranked team. Uh, we won that match somewhere around 100, 252 or something. Uh, that was like a regrouping of the team. Actually, I, we didn't have much time to practice for this championship. So, in that match, I tried out... Uh, what is the best combination, what are the strong points, weak points of our teams and uh, actually we hammered them like 100 to 52 points. In actually during that match one of our key players got injured at the later stages also but he uh, recovered soon after the match. Uh, so uh, from that onwards we were, we were planning to uh, beat Bangladesh after that. Uh, so uh, that match also I think uh, the boys played well and uh, Actually, the problem was uh, still we couldn't find the best five, like the best, combi best combination of uh, Sri Lanka team. So uh, in that match also, we played a good defense. Uh, everybody played well. Actually, we lost to Bangladesh last time around. So uh, that victory was a morale-boosting victory for us. Then we went to the Maldives match. Uh, and uh, Bangladesh match, of course, I think we won by somewhere around uh, 20 points. And... Uh, the Maldives match also, at the half time, like it was like equal scores, but uh, boys clicked after that and uh, we went on to win by 92-66. Then uh, came the Nepal match, just before the uh, Indian match. Uh, actually, when we, when we were to leave Sri Lanka, we were hoping and praying that uh, we should play the India in the final match, like the final encounter of the tournament. So fortunately, we got that chance. Uh, and Nepal match, it was scheduled to be uh, have at uh, 11 a.m. in the morning and the finals at 5.30. So, uh, actually, uh, the match finished at around 1 o'clock. Uh, and uh, in the Nepal match also, it was a close tussle. But uh, we didn't give our 100% in that match because uh, I wanted to use all the players for the uh, final. So, I uh, asked them to, uh, like, not ask them, like... I plan to rest every player, give, give every player a chance. Actually, up to this match, uh, all the 12 players in the team were playing. They got a chance to have the playing time of uh, at least for six, seven minutes per match. And some of them played uh, more than that. So, uh, after the Nepal match, we had a sm very uh, small break and uh, even the boys were uh, ready to go and uh, we went for the India match. Uh Prior to the tour, we met and we discussed and you said mental conditioning, mental fitness is something that you're mainly focusing in practices. That is because of that is because we were planning to face India and India was a threat for us. There was pressure building on us. Uh, how did that go? Was that a main point why we, why we lost to India in the final? No, the boys were relaxed. They, they, didn't, they never felt any pressure because we didn't have anything to lose. We only had to gain something. So, uh, they said... They, they gave their 100% at one stage, I think, after about six minutes of the first quarter, we were like six all, uh, and then only they uh, went three, four fast breaks in a row. We couldn't stop that. Then the uh, end of that quarter, I think it's uh, 23 or 23, 15, I think. Uh, but still, they were fi we were fighting. Like, uh, even the Indians were very worried. They, they, they also gave their 100% during that match. Not that, uh, I think, only seven of their players played the match. Uh, Actually, Sri Lanka, you, we used all 12 players to play the match because uh, I was thinking about the future of basketball in Sri Lanka because there are uh, three, four uh, young players in that team. So I gave uh, exposure for them also to uh, feel the finals, pressure of the finals. So everybody played. Uh, the boys gave their 100%, but I think the reason for uh, downfall of that match is uh, we couldn't stop their fast breaks. Uh, and they did some uh, workout uh, in the out of bounds play, so we couldn't stop that. They scored something like 30, 40 points over that. So uh, 
uh, the height as i mentioned earlier the height was not a factor for us because we matched them match their height in every offense every defense we played uh what life lessons can we take for the future of basketball from this tour where, which areas should we improve talks about a national pool is going on so where where are we in that um this is a good learning curve for us because uh, at the now now every boy every body every boy uh, who played in the tournament feels that we can beat india if you have a proper program proper planning actually this time around uh, you can't blame anybody because the federation was elected recently so they didn't, they also didn't have a uh, time to prepare prepare for this tournament and get the selection committee right and all that so you can't blame anything uh, the only thing is uh, in the future we got to have at least 3 months camp 3 months uh, coaching program and at least 2 3 weeks uh, residential camp or something like that uh, so if we can do that i think still we can give a good run to india thank you very much mr pandukran singh for joining with us today and congratulations on the silver medal win and with that my name is lelumem over and out for the papa.com sharing the passion